Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and welcome back to Metroid Prime. Last episode we got ourselves the Morph Ball Bombs after taking out the ra the Barbed War Wasp Hive. So now it's time to make our way back and hopefully find our way to Flagra, the next major boss fight. So to get to there we have to go to the top of the Arbor, the Arboretum here, which we can now do now that we have the Morph Ball Bombs. And there are runes that have to be scanned. So I know that there's one just down at the bottom down here, so we're going to start scanning them now. Hopefully I remember where all of them are. Still doesn't let me scan that Venom Weed right there. Okay, Runic Symbol activated. Pull in that energy even though I don't need it. I'm trying to remember if there's others in a different area. Before I head on. Before I go up too high, before I climb too high. I think there's actually one right here. Yes, there it is. I believe the two others are beyond. The two other runic symbols are beyond the sandstone blocks up here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that war wasp five so they don't become too much of a nuisance on us. All right, break the first one. Break the second one. Let me unmorph. Thank you, thank you. Oh, here's one. All right. Yep. And the last one should be up there. Can I scan that yet? Yes, I can. There we go. Finally, I was able to scan one. Venom weed, poisonous plant that retracts into the ground if threatened. Venom weeds evolve to thrive in the habitats of large organisms. They lure prey with brightly colored leaves, then detain it with tiny barbs that deliver a powerful toxin. Venom weeds rapidly decompose anything that succumbs in their midst. That's lovely. Boom. Lopa. Ow! What? Where'd you come from? Jerk. Fluid patterns analyzed. Main source of toxins detected. Yeah, yeah, just let me get through these venom weeds. And it's gonna show me right where I'm heading. Yeah, look at that. Right where I'm going. Okay, make our way up here. The last runic symbol, I believe, is right behind me. Yep, there it is. <laughs> is it going to show me next to the door, or is this a pre-rendered cutscene? It is pre-rendered. Okay. But the sandstone block is right there that we can blow up. Oh, more Venom Weed. And Reaper Vines. But once you shoot the Reaper Vines, they don't damage you anymore, so... I don't think I'm... I'm not low on missiles. But it is nice to be topped off. Okay, so sun chamber right here. Then that's not a route that's worth taking, so let's go ahead and go through the sun chamber. Can I scan it from back here? I cannot. We activate the cutscene right off the bat. This is one of the most memorable bosses in the game. I love this fight. It's a little frustrating sometimes, but it's a fun fight. The Flagra. This is like a mix between a plant and a man praying mantis. It's really sweet. New creatures have been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology Flagra. This mutant plant is the source of the toxic water in the ruins. Flagra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made Flagra's outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable, however. Exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapons fire can daze it for short periods. And is this its own creature? Yes, it is. I think I forgot to scan this the last time I played this game. One of Flagra's tentacles fills this narrow drain channels. Analysis indicates that Flagra's central nervous system is located at the base of the structure. 
So we can fire up a charge beam and stun it, but then we have to get rid of the solar panels here. Causing it to collapse, these tentacles to retreat, and then we have a morph bomb slot. And you can see how this fight's gonna progress. We got two solar panels this time, then we're gonna have three, and then we're gonna have four. So. Then we need to, if you leave him be for too long, he'll actually set the solar panels back like he just did. He slashed it like that. Well, the trick for this fight is to remain locked on him and you can actually You can actually hit the solar panels while locked on Flagra. So let's go ahead and hit the Morph Ball and try to get in one of these tracks before he comes back to consciousness. Now we have three solar panels. It actually gets a little easier once you have the three solar panels. You just gotta make sure that you keep enough charge shots on Flagra itself. Woo, hey, what's up, dude? Sit down, poison for me. As I miss. Dude, just get hit. Just get hit. Stop. Stop, stop moving. Thank you. Okay. And use the charge shot to stun. No, well, not necessary on this one. Retract. There we go. Alright, one more phase. One more set. I did not want to morph ball. Well, looks like I'm going this way now, huh? Come on, charge beam. I have two energy tanks still. I am like A-OK -okay in terms of power. Get stunned. One more panel. And there we go. Just don't fall on me, bro. Oh, I have to actually hit. I forgot that it destroyed the uh, tracks. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in and get in and get in and get in. Get in, get in, get in. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I forgot that I only had the one track option to go through. Such a beautiful boss fight. I love that fight. I absolutely love that fight. And now the waters have been purified and are no longer toxic. And this is the various suit upgrade. the most iconic look for Samus. So now we can survive hot and cold environments. Various suit acquired. Dangerous areas of heat are now accessible.
And we'll have to come back into this room eventually. I actually don't know if I was supposed to scan the solar panels. Now that I think of it, was I supposed to scan those? I really hope not. I really hope I didn't miss out on that. That could be bad. Okay, so now... Go ahead and head through here. I don't believe there was anything else to scan through here. Where am I going? Oh yeah, there... I've done this before. There's a doorway right here and I miss it every single time I come through this area. And we have a new thing to scan here. Ultra energy replenishes 100 units. So we're back up to 20 missiles. Back up to full energy. And we got a new enemy to scan. This is the Pulse Bamu. Life form of raw energy periodically releases explosive segments from its body. Pulse Bamus are energy beings and vulnerable to most known weapons. Electrical energy can harm them, however. They lack any intelligence beyond an instinctive attraction to other charged energy sources. Pulse Bamus produce energy constantly. All excess energy is shed regardless of who or what may near be nearby. Ow. Oh, it was locked onto something. <laughs> a little bit of a graphical hiccup there. And now... And scan you. Oh no, don't knock me off. Don't knock me off, you jerk. I was just gonna scan you. Now we have wasps to deal with. Should be another hive right here. Right here. Right there. As well as plenty of Chozo lore. Okay, what are these guys? Oculus wall crawler that generates electrical pulses. The Oculus exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field that covers its in is is uh, uh, English words reading. The electrical field that covers it is enough to deter most predators. If the Oculus detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impenetrable shell, impermeable shell. And this says right here, it is a cordite wall that appears to be cracked. So once we get super missiles, we can blow that up. And we got some Chozo lore right here. The world of living things feels strange to us. We have existed so long on the edges of time and space. It is clear now that we Chozo can never return to our dimension, not while the great poison reaches even further into the planet. It is so powerful, this creeping evil, that our wills are crumbling and our minds are beginning to fail. And so before it is too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain the darkness. At its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by 12 artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness in our ethereal states. Even when we are done, it may be too late. And that references the 12 Chozo artifacts that you need in order to open up the Impact Crater, which, open, which is the last area of the game. And we'll have to go back and collect a lot of those after we get a lot of upgrades. That'll be in part of our cleanup. So now, we can scan this. Access to Magmore Caverns North Granted. Okay, and this is... the next major step in our trek through all of this. Let's go ahead and step into the thing. Head to the... ooh, yawn! Oh, yawn came out of nowhere. Head into the Magmore Caverns. And again, I don't think any of those can be destroyed. Yeah, okay. I don't have the super missiles to do it anyway, so it's kind of a pointless thing to look at. Let's see. Oh, more Shriek Bats. I don't think these are a different type. Nope. Good old Shriek Bats. Sometimes when you enter new areas, the enemies will have new permutations of themselves that are adapted to that particular environment. Open up the save station over here. Get our energy back, all the, I think, zero energy that we were missing.
so many shriek bats. And this little dude walking around down here, crawling around. Let me scan you. Grisby. Subvolcanic carrion feeder carapace can be breached by missiles. The Grisby's carapace has been fused together by superheated air. This barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. Its intelligence is limited to instinctive scavenging patterns. So we can blow him up with missiles. And then get missiles from him. And I don't think those flame jets are scannable yet. So I'll blow these guys up to clear out the obstacles in our way. And then there's these burrowing dudes over here. Burrower, tunneling insect predator. The burrow is similar to the beetle, though it prefers to spend more time underground. It seeks seismic disturbances than surfaces to attack. It has enough cunning to realize when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it is fairly ignorant. When it lacks in brains, it makes up for with aggression. Hop on out. Oh, got him. And we have the official introduction to the Magmore Caverns. And the Magmores, oh, and the Magmores that they're named after. Morphology, Magmore, fire-breathing serpent that dwells in lava. Magmores prefer extreme heat zones and are susceptible to frigid attack forms. Sightless, they navigate the lava currents using their sonar receptors. Magmores have a keen sense of smell, enabling them to pinpoint targets with startling accuracy. Go ahead and take him down. Should be three charged shots? And now he's headless. And we have these little guys to scan here. Puffer, unstable gas-filled organism, will rupture on contact. Puffers fill their bodies with lethal metaviperium gas and float around in search of food. If ruptured, the gas within the puffer is violently released. Despite their fragile bodies, puffers are aggressive hunters. The glass, gas cloud they release upon death is often fatal to creatures that bring them down as well. So we'll go ahead and clear a lot of them out. So they're not a threat to us. And we can scan this up here. Okay, so until we get the grapple beam, that is not going to be something that we can scan for research purposes. And I think this right here is what needs to be destroyed with a super missile. I don't think we can do it with a regular missile. No, we need a super missile. To... Oh, we can with a regular missile. Okay, cool. Chozo artifact. Well, that's going to save us some time. Although I don't think I can reach it without the grappling hook or the space jump. I actually don't think it's possible. How many missiles does it take to kill you? Four? Yep. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to that without the grappling hook. Or the space jump. I mean, I can try, but I'm not going to make it up there. Yep, that's what I saw happening. Yep, that's bad. I don't think there's actually any way up on there without the proper upgrades. I will try though. Yeah, the slope, it doesn't even let me get a foothold on it, so I can't. Oh, I was able to jump there. Like right over here. Hey, I was able to get it. Sweet. Well, that's going to save us a trip down the road. Chose our artifact acquired. This is the artifact of nature, the eighth of 12. All right, it's the first one we've acquired, and one of them is at the actual crater site. So. We'll worry about that then. Okay, so now we can continue on. That's really cool. We got our first Chozo artifact here. And this, I believe, is sandstone. So either... I don't think missiles actually will blow it up. I was just curious. See if missiles will blow it up. But no, it does take a morph bomb. Take down all these little dudes before they get too close and let their glass gas clouds disperse. At least we don't have a Magmore to worry about right here. And those grappling points are going to become really useful in the future. It'll make it traversing this area much simpler once we have to come back for our cleanup. 
Triclops, hard-shelled creatures with powerful jaws. The Triclops is a hunter-gatherer, collects small creatures and bites in bits of food stuff, then deposits them elsewhere for later consumption. The hard tripartite mandibles it uses to move earth and rock are quite strong and difficult to escape once ensnared. Basically, what you can do is you can drop a bomb, they'll eat the bomb, and then they'll die. Or they'll grab you and they'll take you to somewhere and they'll spit you out, and it damages you. Not much, but it does damage you. Wow, the blast radius against those things is pretty wicked, isn't it? And what's cool, if you walk over these steam vents, oh, your, your visor, it gets all steamy. Too hot to handle. More of those dudes. Which, I'm, I don't have the map for this area yet, so there's two routes I can go. I can go down or I can go up. I'm going to go down first. Let that gas dissipate for a second. Where is the storm? It's to my right? in there so I can't oh I gotta go through okay all right where is our entrance into all this first off we can come down here which I believe this is actually the entrance to everything Okay, so it blows up the one, but I mean, it's standing in it, so then it doesn't... There we go. Gonna be just a little more aggressive with my bombs on these guys, so they don't just carry me into random spots. A little more careful around them. Let them grab my bombs. Here's a door to go through, but I actually believe there's a power-up I can get back there. So we're going to go back. I'm going to check this, make sure this room's not a save station or something. First, I don't think it is. Wherever the door went. There it is. Let me go in here and see what room this is. Storage cavern. Okay, so there is like a power-up back here then. Yeah, there it is. All right. Missile expansion acquired. So far, so good. Okay, let's explore the rest of this little area here. I think that is everything, isn't it? That is everything in this area. So now we can go through that upper route and get in that upper door. Again, using the lock on button in order to maintain a lock in the direction I'm wanting to jump. Triclops pit. There is an item that's hidden in this room, but you need the x-ray visor to get it. It's in that column over there, but without the x-ray visor, you can't see the platforms and everything, and we'll have to come back when we have all of our upgrades. I think you need super missiles as well to uncover it. I don't think these are the mega turrets yet. Should just take a couple missiles to take them down.
I don't think there's too much through here to scan just yet. Okay, so we do have a door over here. Shore tunnel. Because right here, we have to remember this because right here, this Benzium frame, right below us is the ice spreader for the ice beam, the missile combo. So we have to remember this area. And we, oh, yep, we, oh, no, we can cross through here. I got this area mixed up with another area in the back of my head. Fiery Shores, just gotta make sure I'm going through the right areas here. shot and two missiles. And you over there, there's no point to you. There's a missile expansion up there, but we have to go through here in order to get to that side of the... get to that side of everything. Morph ball through the tunnels. Climb and climb, then we have to be really careful not to fall into the lava. Really difficult area to navigate. Just be, be very careful, go very slow. Tap the joystick. Yep. Tap the joystick. That slight camera angle change really about screwed with me. Okay. And this will be quicker than trying to re-navigate that area. Which I think I'm actually coming to a dead end until I have the spider ball. The more I think about it. Should be able to get past that before the flames start back up. Yeah, I think I'm coming up to a, a spider ball specific spot. No. Talent Overworld West granted. That's the spot that uh needs the spider ball. Do I want to go to the Talent Overworld West? I think I need to go back here. And there's a couple doors I go, and one leads to Fendrana Drifts, I believe. I don't think I want to go this way yet. I think I need to go back. Ah, that's what I was afraid of was the fire. Let me up, let me up, let me up. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna burn to death. Please don't have me burn to death. And I'm gonna go ahead and just jump through the lava. It's just quicker. I don't wanna didn't wanna deal with all the uh morph ball tracks up top in that one spot. Woohoo! Yep, 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 yep. Let you burn out. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm pretty sure that I go another direction altogether. And I think that Talon Overworld leads to kind of a dead end ish. Let's take all these down with some missiles. I got plenty of missiles to spare, so I'm not too concerned about it. Plus, I'm going to get plenty of ammunition as we go through here. Another turret. Another one? Where's this one at? 
I heard it, but I don't see it. It's somewhere. Okay, anything important to read through here? Doesn't appear that there is. I missed! No, 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 no. Don't let me die there. Please don't let me die there. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. No! How long has it been since I saved? Oh, I can't believe I got trapped down there. Oh, no. Oh, has it been since the beginning of this level? No. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, it has. Oh, I think we need to stop there. This episode has been going too long. I can't believe I let myself get trapped there. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we'll, we'll continue this. Um, yeah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Maybe I'll just go ahead and play through until we catch up to where we were. So, uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and uh, I'll see you next time.